This is to introduce you to the concept of the midterm evaluation. Now you've got a choice. You can choose to write a midterm exam or you can make a counting story. This is an exemplar counting story uh, just to give you an idea of what you can possibly do. Now you're going to be taking all the concepts that we're going to be learning and so we're going to be looking at the counting principles. We've already looked at distinct objects. We haven't talked about combinations and permutations or order but we have talked about probability We've talked about theoretical probability based on the sample space and the number of outcomes. And we've talked about independent and dependent events. And uh, some of the other concepts we'll be taking over the next few days. So here's my story. Uh, it's based on the three little pigs. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs, Blaise, Pierre, and Sasha. Each little pig decided to build their own house. Each pig can choose to build their house in the mountains, on the lake, in the forest, or in the city. That will create lots of zany possibilities. Their house can be built with wood, brick, or snow, since these are um, Inuit pigs, and they can choose to build one or two levels. There were so many choices that Blaze is confused. What choices does Blaze have? So how are we going to represent that? I know what, we could use a tree diagram. The possible choices are called, ow, oh, fill in the blank. The total number of choices that Blaze has is 24. The collection of all possible choices is called the blank. So, think about that, fill in those blanks. The first little pig, Blaze, doesn't want to have the same type of house as the second little pig, Pierre. He really wants a one-level wooden house in the mountains. He decides that this is fine because Pierre isn't likely to choose the same house. So he's just going to go ahead and decide to build a house. He doesn't care what Pierre is doing, but it's got to be different. The probability that Pierre makes the same choice as Blaise is really small. And so what is that probability? Or it's approximately 4.2, 4.2 what? Unfortunately, Pierre has already decided on a one-level wooden house in the mountains. So Blaise and Pierre can't have the same kind of house, and so they're going to decide this with a coin toss. They're going to toss a coin ten times to decide who would build this house. Blaise called heads on each toss. And so uh, who do you think is going to build this house? Can you tell already based on the fact that he's going to call heads all the time, or can you not? And so you're going to be looking at these kinds of concepts, uh, independent events, dependent events, non-mutually exclusive or mutually exclusive complementary events. You're going to be incorporating as many of the concepts as we take in this counting unit over the next uh, 15 or so days, and you're going to be incorporating them into your counting story and that'll be for the midterm, unless you choose to do a midterm exam. So uh, there's what the possibilities look like. So I'll let you just sort of think about it and drop me a little note about what you'd like to do.